Hi, so I'm back today. I'm gonna be shooting the Smith Wesson 9 again. The um what's the Shield 9 2.0. So since the last time I was shooting it, I've practiced or on camera. I've been practicing a little bit. I did replace the sights. I put the Trigicon HD XR or whatever. The uh the night sights, they're pretty badass, made a lot of difference. Also did a trigger job on it. Um took the whole gun apart. Oh, and I put uh, what's called a duty spring kit in it. Um, made the gun work faster and better. Uh, the trigger's much smoother, and uh, like the reset on it, real short. It's just, just smooth. I mean, polished the insides. Everything works really good on it now. So I uh, haven't shot in a while, a couple weeks. So I had to repair some of the targets and got everything set up. So. We'll give it a try, see how, it, I forgot to mention, I have some uh, some new targets that my son got me for Father's Day that we'll give a try out. I don't want to shoot too many, I'll shoot them when, when he's around, so he can play with them too. already peppered this target with shrapnel so I'm not gonna do my next set with this shooting too many bullets too fast you know just goofing trying to shoot the steels and missing see I'm already tearing up the dirt behind the, the targets there just miss 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 yeah you hit it once on a double tap and it's swinging and completely miss I shot this a couple times but I painted it red so they're already hit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the camera here and what my goal is going to be is a double tap pop, pop, and see how tight I can keep the targets. I might expand from there, but that's the initial, the initial goal. For the most part, they came out all right. Got one skimmed his head, but the rest of them were all pretty good center mass shots. I mean, that's, that's hurting no matter what. I fired a bunch right here. Uh, not bullseyes, that's for sure. <laughs> working on it, man, I'm working on it.
not too bad. So I picked up these splash targets clearance at Walmart. We'll see how good these work. I figure these might be useful. Paint over the target with. And they come with the little dots you can cover your shots with. Too bad one flyer pretty tight group seems like i'm shooting low to the left huh that well, looks like three low to the left the rest were bullseyes maybe it's the way i'm holding the gun I'm shooting straight. painting the target better with the sights. Let's see what I can do with this. All right, so I set up the splatter targets on the, uh, the steels, and uh, <laughs> we'll see what they do. I'm on the camera. No, well, lens is still good. Yeah, I must have shot that sucker dead on. Boom. Yeah, I was a little worried. I was doing some testing on this one. I shot it a few times and it didn't really splatter, it just kind of oozed. I bet from behind you could see it shooting it out on the, I see some yellow splattered all over the wall, dirt wall there. That's kind of cool. Pretty gross. I don't really want to clean that up. Might let the rain do it. Alright, so I'm down to my last four rounds. I have one more special target to do. I'm gonna see if I can hit it. I'm shooting low, and then it shoots the target in the air where I overshoot it. So let's try it, we'll see. Pretty fun. <laughs> That's neat to see. Made a little mess. Gotta clean up some. No big deal. Alright. So as far as this gun went, I'm shooting low and left a bit. So I think I gotta move the sight over a little bit. 
Uh, there's really no raising it up or down. I just have to learn where to aim better. More practice. Pretty good groupings. Can't complain too much. They all count. Um, see, that's how you holster your weapon. Just saying. We've all seen it. Just put it in there. All right, till next time.